social we've been in Vallarta. Laura is modeling a fabulous two-piece sequin t-shirt and skirt, perfect for cocktails or anything. Jill is wearing the shapeliest of bubbles and black and white polka dot boil, cinched at the waist. Diane is in a short, strapless evening dress of silk charmise, sheer to the hip with double tiers over this season's mini skirt. Cherie is wearing the perfect little black dinner dress and velvet with shimmering rhinestone buttons. Please, everyone, stand back. Give her some air. We're calling the paramedics. I'm telling you, O'Hara, you know what we both need is a little excitement. Aren't you about done? What do you want to go home for, huh? This is the first weekend we had off in two months, huh? Let's do something. I don't think so. We've been working on this case for two months straight, right? That's right. We've been practicing together all the time, huh? Just like Siamese twins. You're not sick of me, are you? Because if you are, I understand. I mean, um... No, Chevy boy. I'm not getting sick of you. Great. Let's go to Vegas. Catch some rays, watch some shows, play some cards. Lose some money. Correction, lose some of my money. Bingo. Finish. Finito. Aloha. This case is officially closed. So how about it? You want excitement. I want to relax. I'll let you sleep the whole way. I'll drive. No, I'd rather not. I'll pay for gas. Why don't you just get an autograph from Rich Little for me? Last chance. Just take me home, Chevy boy. Henderson file, signed, sealed, and delivered. Thank you. You two should be pretty proud of yourself. This was a tough case to crack. Tell me about it. Shaver? Uh-huh. Horror's been a little... Down in the dumps? Yeah. There's a good reason for that. You gonna let me in on it? It'll be five years tomorrow his wife and daughter were killed. His daughter ran away or something. Yeah. What was her name? Anita. O'Hara's wife was gonna pick her up, and on her way home, they were killed by a drunk driver. Still hasn't gotten over it. She's right in here, Doctor. Well, let's have a look at her. So where's the patient? She was here just a minute ago. I don't understand. Shabby boy. What? No milk and cookies? Not tonight, okay? O'Hara, oh, look at the moon. Ah, uh, you ever see anything like that? Yeah. Once before, I only had to bust the guy for indecent exposure. <laughs> That's funny. You're a comedian. Shavy boy, when not you going to Las Vegas? Oh, Harry, you believe everything I tell you? Besides, Rich Little is in Tahoe this weekend. And you know me, with the altitude and everything, I'd much rather stay and hang out at sea level. With me, right? Yes. Shavy boy, I know what you're trying to do for me, but uh, sometimes a man has to have some peace, a little quiet, a time for himself. Oh, Harry, I just want... Please. I want to be alone tonight. Okay. Alone, huh?
Mr. O'Hara. Diane? I... <laughs> remember Anita and I used to sneak out the window all the time? Oh, do I ever remember? I'm the only one I ever caught you two. <laughs> you know what used to get me? You'd always get caught sneaking out. Never in. Oh, well... I don't know how. <laughs> God, we had some good times. Diane, just seeing you sure brings back some nice memories. Now that I'm back in the States, I gotta come by and see you more often, huh? Well, you're gonna have to. Only from now on, would you please call him first? Right. As far as I know, Harry's not used to finding girls in his shower. <laughs> so how's Mom and Dad? You living with them now that you're back? <laughs> God, look at can you believe this is me? <laughs> oh, that's a cute picture. Oh, uh, chubby cheeks. <laughs> Diane. So talk to me. What's happening? I need your help. What can I help? Remember when I went to go model in Japan? Mm -hmm. I kind of met this guy. A man, actually. His name is Kazu Nakamura. I modeled for one of his companies. He said he wanted to get to know me better. So the next thing I know, I've got this great suite in the hotel, and there's caviar and champagne and roses and... <laughs> wow, it was unreal. So tell me, when did reality set in? From the very beginning, I told him that I just wanted us to be friends. From the very beginning. Okay. And he said that he respected that. Some famous last words. <sighs> I, when I told him that I wanted to go back to the States, he just... He just totally freaked out. I, he wanted me to stay in Japan with him. I didn't know what to do, so I caught the next plane back to the United States. Oh, I swear to God, none of this was supposed to happen. I mean, I really care for the guy, but I'm not in love with him, and I don't know what to do. Did you tell him what your feelings were? Yeah, but he won't listen to me. Uh, nobody likes to get dumped. He thinks that he owns me. Very Japanese. Would you talk with him, please? I mean, really. He won't listen to me. Maybe he'll listen to you. Would you talk to him? Of course I will. I detect a sense of urgency. What can I do for you, Mr. O'Hara? I come here as a personal favor to a friend of mine. Oh. Diane Davis. Yes, of course. She did some modeling for my company. She also says that you became friends. Yes. I offered her my hospitality. Any honorable man would have done the same. Any honorable man would never have held a flower so tightly as to crush its fragile petals. My relationship with Miss Davis is a private matter. Not if you continue to harass her. I'm afraid she doesn't share the same feelings as you, Mr. Nakamura. I trust in time she will. Was there anything else, Mr. O'Hara? Sometimes to accept the truth 
is more painful than to deny it. Ari no kohana mo daiko ozue o motarasu. What did he say? Not here. Look, look, what the man is saying is you win some, you lose some. All right? So why don't you and your goons back off? Does this one think for you as well, Mr. O'Hara? It doesn't matter what he thinks or what he does. I am asking you personally, please, let go of Diane Davis. Excuse me. But I had a very long flight. May I remind you, this is not Japan. What did he say to you in there? Ari no koana mo dai kozu wo motarasu. That's what I thought he said. Am I translating that? Well, it means that even from the smallest anthill can come a very large flood. Kazu was trying to tell me that a little mistake on my part could lead to a very big disaster. Well, why didn't he come out and tell you that in plain English? Well, he's old line Japanese, you know. He believes the indirect route is a straight line to the truth. Huh? Japanese men are very possessive of their women, Shaver. Well, I've heard of walking a mile for a camel, but crossing the Pacific Ocean for a girl? That's carrying things a little too far. Not really. Takazu losing Diane was like losing his honor. It's equivalent to losing his manhood. You know, I could see it in his eyes. Well, I think there's other reasons Kazu's here. That is, other than for Diane. You got your one, Shavy boy. Don't move! Don't even breathe! We have a friend who owns a van? We do now. Is there a problem here? Why are we always the last ones to find out about these investigations? This is an undercover operation. It doesn't concern you. Gentlemen. Can we discuss this more privately? There's nothing to discuss. Your men are interfering in a Justice Department investigation. On Kazu Nakamura? We've had our eye on him ever since he set foot on American soil. He's a top Yakuza kingpin. We want to know what he's doing here. I know why he's here. Came back to get his girlfriend. Give me a break. We're talking about the Japanese mob. We smelled Yakuza the moment we stepped foot into Kazu's hotel suite. All I smelled was fish. Kazu was as big as they come. Extortion, gambling, prostitution, loan sharking. There have also been a number of unexplained deaths linked to his organization. How close are you to nailing him? At this point, I just hope your two heroes here didn't blow our case out of the water. We met Kazu in an unofficial capacity. He has no reason to suspect that we're with a task force. Let's keep it that way. Stay away from Kazu. You'd be better teaching this bimbet Diane a thing or two about the kind of company she keeps. O'Hara! Kirk, my men will not interfere with your investigation. Right, guys? Yeah. Sure. O'Hara? O'Hara, listen. She lied to us, all right? Diane had to have known that Kazoo was in the Yakuza. 
Well, maybe she just got into something over her head. Over her head? Come on, give me a break. This kazoo guy makes Al Capone look like Pee Wee Herman. Hey, we're talking about my daughter's best friend here, Shaver. Look, she wanted you to do a favor, right? Yes. You did it. You talked to the guy. End the chapter, walk away. Five years ago, I walked away from it. Not one day has gone by since that I haven't regretted it. You can't blame yourself for what happened. I was not the best father. Oh, come on, O'Hara, what are you talking about? Huh? I've seen you with kids. They love you. We're talking about all those times I'd come home and she'd just be leaving for school. I'm talking about that day when my wife, Sueco, got the phone call from Anita. And I couldn't go to pick her up because, again, I was working some big, important case. So she went to pick her up by herself. Well, it's behind you now, O'Hara. Hell, it is. Diane's not Anita. I know. For now, she's the closest thing I've got. Are you Oh, hi! How are you? Good to see you. <laughs> it's my partner, Shaver. Hello. This is Lieutenant Tsuji. Long time colleague, Asian Task Force. Sit down. Sit down. You know, things haven't been quite the same since you left. You guys can't do without me, huh? No, things just haven't been the same. <laughs> well, eat. Eat. What is he making anyway? Lots of things, I think. I make something special for us? Hi, very special. Oh, very good. Mm. What kind of stuff is that? You like flying fish, eh? Could I get it scrambled? <laughs> so, Ryan. <laughs> so, listen, tell me, um, what's with this Kazu Nakamura? Why is he here? According to my sources, Kazu's unhappy with his operations in this country. And? Well, he's got this kid, Kenji. Kenji's been running things over here for Kazu. He's a Harvard grad, well-connected, very ambitious. Maybe a little too ambitious? He's not traditional Yakuza. Well, listen, bad is bad, but how bad can this dude be? I hope you never have to find out. Oh, Namako, Namako. See cucumber. You're gonna love this. Delicious. Oh, Harry, it's still moving. It's very fresh. You know, actually, I'm not very hungry. I'm gonna go outside and get some fresh air. Oh, come on, come on. Sit down. Eat. It's good. Do you have any chili dogs? Wish to see me? I had a visit from the police. A Lieutenant O'Hara. What did he want? He said he was a friend of Diane's. She told him about the book. The book she stole from you. I don't think so. What if she does? She won't. If the police get their hands on that book, our entire operation is going to be exposed. We will both go to prison. Kenji, 
If you hadn't gotten involved with her in the first place, none of this would have Don't you dare use that tone of voice to me. Ever. Forgive me, Raya, but... Listen, Diane, I want to know why the con job about Kazoo. Because I was afraid that Mr. O'Hara wouldn't talk to him. Oh, come on, Diane, give me a break. Listen, I didn't know that Kazoo was in the Yakuza, okay? I just want to get this whole thing behind me. So if you don't want to help me, that's fine. I want to help you, okay? And so does O'Hara. He really cares about you. You're like family to him. And O'Hara's like family to me. But I don't want to see him get burned. I'm sorry. It's just been such a long time since I've been able to trust anybody. If there's anybody you can trust, it's O'Hara. Okay? Yeah. Where is he anyway? I don't know. I wasn't there when I got up this morning. Be uncomfortable, Shavy boy. We're all very happy that you're here. Here we go again. I'll take the big guy. 
like a speed bag. My innards feel like a piece of tenderized meat. I'll bet. And look what the slice and dice twins did to my jacket. Ah, uh, look what they did to your place. I hope they found what they were looking for. Well, we won't know that until we find Diane. I'd like to ask her myself. Oh, Harry, I don't know about this whole thing, all right? They trash your place. They make me into chop suey. Diane's been lying to us from the word go, and now she's in deep trouble. That's the understatement of the century. Ah. Well, what was that all about? I was expected back in Tokyo this evening. I'll get the book back soon. No, I will take care of it myself. What do you mean? I spoke to Diane. We have arranged a meeting. So you have everything under control? No, not everything, Kenji. Some of our associates feel uneasy with the way you do business. Order needs to be restored. That's crazy. I'm making you millions of dollars here. What more do you want from me? I want you to return to Tokyo. Tokyo? But, but... You've been away from home too long, Kenji. You've forgotten the values with which you are raised. Maybe that's because they're a little outdated. Your traditional concepts of honor and obedience don't work here. In America, all that matters is money. That's the bottom line. That is not what matters to me. I am your father. You will obey my wishes. You are growing old and weak, Dad. When I was a child, I looked up to you. I saw the power that you held in your fists. I look at you now. And all I see is an old man. No, I need no cassette. You have dishonored me. All right. I'll do as you ask. I'll go back to Japan. Diane's best friend. Diane is a big girl and very capable of taking care of herself. Listen, if her Japanese friends get to her before we do, it could be an ugly mess. Look, I really have to be going. Why are you in such a hurry? I like to be punctual, okay? Lori, just in case you should hear from Diane. Look, I already told you. All right. I... All right, please, just listen for a moment. A lot of people really care about Diane. Her parents have told us that you and she were pretty good friends. Now, friends always care for each other, so just if. Would you call us at that number? Anytime. Please. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. Why is she lying to us? I don't know. Maybe she thinks she's really protecting Diane. Don't 
Who's in shape, you boy? Don't worry. I won't. Hey, man! Give up! What you gonna do with your life? asking that you consider my offer. Kazu, I can't go back with you. It's not the life that I want. How do you know? You know, you would have everything that you could possibly want. Uh, all I want is my freedom. Please, if you love me, you'd understand that. This is where I belong. This this is my home. I don't belong in Tokyo. Or with you. I'm sorry. You know, I could see you with a hairdo like that. <laughs> you know, there's a twenty-five dollar cover charge. What? Uh-huh. You got any cash? Ah, oh, shabby boy. Hello. Take gold card. But you take gold badge. Thank you. Don't leave home without it. Diane's got to be here someplace. Let's find her. Well, let's split up. We cover more ground. Good idea. I don't want to waste too much time. I don't know how long my ears are going to stand this noise. Isn't that Diane? I'll handle this. I'll handle this. I'll go check out Lori. Diane? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Thought you were someone else. Thank you. If I can't convince you to come back with me, you must return what you have taken. Then you let me go? Yes. You have my word. At least you haven't forgotten your Japanese. There are some things about Japan I never want to forget. I'll meet you here tomorrow. Diane, won't you at least stay for one drink? Yeah, why not? Let me go make a phone call. Night out, Kirk. What are you doing here? You know, I was just about to ask you the same question. You sure you're not on the job? Ah, uh, all work and no play makes Shavy a dope boy. So you came here to do a little dancing? Yeah, every once in a while I boogie woogie. Yeah, well, boogie woogie somewhere else. I don't want you interfering in this case anymore. Kazu is mine. We're not here for Kazu. I don't care if you're here to learn how to break dance, O'Hara. I want you two out of here now.
she didn't kill him. The gun was registered to Diane. Her prints are all over it. Let's not jump to conclusions here, please. She bought that gun for protection because she was scared. Of who? Kazu? Yes. Lori, can you tell us exactly what happened? I am. Um... Diane told me she was going to the club to meet Kazu to talk about returning something that she took when she left Japan. Can you tell us what she took? It was a book of some kind. What kind of book? I don't know. She never really showed it to me. All that I know is that she needed it to get back into the United States. Mm. Well, whatever's in that book must be pretty important to Kazu. Or to whoever killed him. We'll find out soon enough. I've just had an arrest warrant issued on Diane Davis for murder. Kirk, she didn't kill him. She was framed. Well, why don't you let me worry about that? Relax, O'Hara. The guy's a turkey from Queens. O'Hara, I know that Diane's a personal friend of yours. But take Kirk's advice and stay off this case. I can't promise you that right now, Teresa. You're too emotionally involved. I know. That's exactly why I have to find her. What are you doing, O'Hara? Requesting a personnel report from Central. On who? O'Hara, Diane, where are you? Mr. O'Hara, I didn't kill Kazu. You gotta believe me. I swear I didn't kill him. I do believe you, but... Listen, I, I just... Everything has happened so fast, and I don't know what to do. I need some time to think it out. I'm just... I'm just so scared, and... Diane, where are you, please? <laughs> Diane! <laughs> I told you I don't know where the book is. Now we know you're gonna need so. Your Japanese stinks. Perhaps you'll understand this. Kirk! We searched her friend's apartment. We searched the luggage. We didn't find the book. You work for me. You do as I say. Now, back off. Pardon me, but my name is in the book, along with everyone in your organization. We don't get the book, you kiss the operation goodbye. <laughs> decisive action. Talking about Diane somewhere with half the Justice Department after her. We got a Japanese mob boss on a slab in the morgue from a bullet from Diane's gun and there's always the question of the missing book. Yeah, you know, that book. It's around here somewhere. I can feel it. The book is around here? Yeah. Right. Well, the mugs obviously didn't find it. Obviously, they didn't know where to look for it. Right, and we do. O'Hara? Mr. O'Hara. Diane, what's going on? Uh, listen, I'll explain everything to you, I promise. Can you meet me someplace? Oh, well, sure. Uh, listen, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, 
I'll be at the Main Street Pier at, at the arcade. Do you know the place? Well, yeah, but... I, I mean, I used to go there all the time. Remember? I remember. Great. Uh, I'll be there. I'll be waiting there. That was Diane. What did she want? The Main Street Pier. She wants us to meet her there. Well, great. I'll get the car. Come on. Oh, Harold, what's the hang-up? That pair was washed away in a windstorm a few years ago. stuff. I've been patient enough. How about some pizza or something? Huh? Shh. Get the book. to your family, and you are a fool, O'Hara. Let's have it. You read Japanese? Enough. It's all in there. All the bogus businesses you created to cover up your illegal operations, the names of people who worked in them, dates, numbers, everything. Well, my father I'd like to keep an accurate personal record of his day-to-day -day operations. And it's just too bad he was so careless with it. You've made a few mistakes yourself. Shortstop! Uh, you know what this thing can do to a perfectly good suit? Detective Shaver. Kill the girl, Kenji. You take your orders from me. I wonder if the Justice Department knows that. I had a personnel report run on you, Kirk. It's interesting, you two. Harvard graduates, same class. You did your homework, O'Hara. It's all over, guys. I called for backup. Too little? Too late. Japanese have a saying that if the autumn fan touches you, it just sweeps away the leaves. Only to make way for the flowers of spring. Wait, 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 wait. What happened to the winter? No, no, you're missing the point. The point is that 
Nature's cycle repeats itself. Ah, life goes on. That's it. You know, throughout this whole experience with Diane, I found out things about you I never knew. Well, that's just because you could never see them before. You're a good friend, Shady Boy. No road is long with a good companion. That's terrific! Hey, I worked on it all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's just it. In our society today, people don't give each other enough appreciation. People have hard times expressing themselves. Yeah. I got another one for you. Yeah? Hit me with your best shot. My house is a mess. Could you help me clean it, please? <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday, the Seavers set sail for paradise and land in Hawaii on a special Growing Pains. Then Alan falls for Darlene when she lends him a shoulder to cry on, on head of the class. Now stay tuned for Spencer, for hire, next.